All right, so welcome back everybody. This is Percy from Percy's Hardware. And today I'm gonna to talk about uh, chainsaw chains. A lot of people this time of year, obviously you're cutting wood and they're gonna to want to identify what kind of chain they have and that does confuse a lot of people. So to try and make things a little bit simpler, I'm gonna show the uh, different types of chain, uh, starting with um, a 3 8 low profile chain. So basically that's determined by measuring three rivets in a row and then dividing that number by two. It's pretty distinctive as far as the shape of the chain goes, that certainly helps. And then the drive will also have a number on it. So that, that helps identify. Every brand has their own setup as far as how that works, but um, usually I can identify them pretty easily. The most challenging thing that's hard to identify is how wide this drive is because this drive will actually ride in this groove of this bar and if it's too wide it won't fit in it if it's not wide enough it'll rock on it and you'll get cutting like moon shapes um, which is a challenge the other thing people struggle with is they go oh i got an 18 inch bar well if this bar was half the width then the chain would be much shorter. So that certainly confuses people as far as that goes. And also there's some really good identifying numbers on your bar. This one's new, so it's nice and clear and easy to read. So these numbers are, are uh, pretty much tell you everything you need to know. Like this is a 3 8 pitch. There's 72 drive lengths to make up the length of this chain. And it's an 068 width. So the other two types of chain that I have here handy is this is a 325 pitch and this is 3 8 pitch as well, but it's not a low profile chain. It's got a much taller tooth than the other style. So that's the difference between the two um, as far as those two go. There's also different cutter types, but these are your most common and these are non safety chains. These are professional grade. Um, they don't have the anti kickback. But yeah, so that's kind of, and then the length is determined by the number of drives. I think I touched on that, but you got to count the number of these. I usually count them by two because I line them up so they're two at a time. This one's not quite lined up that way, but I would line them up so there's two at a time. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, and so on to get the length of the chain. So yeah, that's just basically how that works in a nutshell. Uh, hopefully that helps make things a little bit easier when you stop by the store or any store. And then, um, yeah, so that's pretty much that for this one. Any questions, feel free to stick something below. And we'd love to see comments just to make sure that you guys are liking what we're doing. Uh, we got a few other ideas, but if you have an idea of something you want me to try and explain, I'll be happy to try and do that. Uh, thank you for taking a few minutes to, out of your busy schedule to check this out. And I hope you have a great day or evening or night or morning or whatever this happens to be for you. Take it easy.